Hello, and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm Master. Hello, hi everybody, welcome back. As you can see, the force is no longer on fire. Yeah! It's done. It's, well, I don't know what's going on behind this cut, but it seems like there's no more fire. Anyways, we last left off, uh, last time we left off, um, what happened? Oh, we were in the play. And then we went back to Rachel's house. And got in a fight with her parents. So yeah, that was, that was fun. I'm very interested in seeing how this next episode goes, because it seems like after that episode, things are going to start ramping up pretty, pretty fast. That's what it seems like to me. And also, as of recently, as I'm recording this video, we have recently hit 200 subscribers. Uh, yeah, we did it. That's 200 subscribers. Remember, two videos ago, I said I'm gonna hit the 250 mark right behind Burnt, Burnt Cypress 11. I don't know why I said his full name, his full YouTube channel like that, but yeah, I'm I'm gonna hit that 250 mark right after you. I don't even know if I'm gonna leave that in. <laughs> but yeah, um, expect a 200 subscriber special soon. Very soon. I think last time I did, like, played Call of Duty Zombies for some reason. I can't even remember why. I would have to rewatch the video to <laughs> hear why I decided to do that. But yeah, now we're on episode 3. And this is the last episode. Oh, I thought there was five episodes. So oh, this is a bonus farewell. But yeah, this is the last episode of this game. I didn't even know that. Okay, let's just get, let's go right into it. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for- Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Chloe. I'm here. You can handle this. I'm... I'm right here. Good. I need you. Uh, it seems like <laughs> this, uh, it seems like very devastating moment. When I was in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. 
sometimes. I think that's what kept me blind for so long. Mm. Let's try go again. She was so beautiful, just like you. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Okay. When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. Bro, I think we're all was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. How do we know that any of this is true, though? What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel? It was true. We kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her. That she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world chance to be your mother and she squandered it it pained me to hurt her like that but I'd do it again and again and again to keep you safe So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I sent her money. 
every single month. It's our arrangement. But now... She yes. wants to see me? But Rachel, it cannot be. Why not? Who says it's your decision? Honestly, yeah, but why not? Why not? If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Hey. Rachel. I think I need to lie down. can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Okay. Okay, give me a second. Group message. Just came in. From group? I don't know. Oh, here we go. So I'm gonna guess this is... The play people? Rachel and Chloe, where are you guys? We're at the Tempest cast party. I already texted Rachel like eight times. Hey, I don't think we're making it. Chloe, you should come. Yeah, Chloe, you did awesome, babe. Hey, Chloe, great job tonight. Thanks, I can't. But you were awesome. I'll even admit that Mr. Keaton seemed a little disappointed when I arrived. Seriously, just come. Bring Rachel. Sorry, guys. Oh. Nice people. I speak to... Um, this must be hard for you too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. So do. I, I don't understand. Are you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone. But addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah. Rachel's not a baby Listen anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please... Put my daughter's safety first. Um, try the truth. Uh, yes. That I'll... is something I will always do. She's so young. You are too. But I know you've experienced loss. Protect her from that. Please. I'll do what I can. I care about her too, you know? I know. Thank you. Yeah, I just uh, I just sat on your coffee table. When there was a chair right there that could have moved, but you know. Let's see what Rose has to say about hey, this. Hey, Mrs. Amber. 
I think it's Rose at this point. Wow. Considering everything. Okay. Rose. Do you need help? Sorry about tonight. Do you need any help with anything? That's very kind of you. Could you get out the broom for me? It's in the breezeway. Door to the left of the fridge. Door to the left of the fridge. Yes, I can do that. Let's get this broom. Perfect, right here. What's that? Shirt. Hey. Cool graphic. Rachel was really getting rid of this. Poor donation. Let's just pick it up. And put it into our back pocket. Mrs. Amber, could I have this? Oh, sure, Chloe. Rachel was going to give it away anyhow. Thanks. Cool. I got the cool shirt. Let's go. Let's give you the broom. Broom. Here you go. Thank you. There you go. I'm really quite glad that you're here. Bye. Me too. <laughs> Thanks. But why? While Rachel's dealing with all of this, it's a relief to know she can talk to you. How are you doing, Chloe? How am I doing? Your generation loves to talk about how awkward different things are. Well, this must be pretty awkward, I'd imagine. Yeah, it's super awkward. Doing better than Rachel. Yeah, super awkward. I guess I'm not great. Rachel and I were really happy a few hours ago, and now... Maybe you can see why James wanted to keep this a secret. There are many painful things about Rachel's past, including my own role in hiding the truth. Oh. <gasps> I guess she... Oh, yeah, she did know. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, she definitely did know. I didn't just find that out now. Sarah shouldn't have taken money over seeing her daughter. You know, I am so thankful to her that she did. It gave me the opportunity to be Rachel's mother. I never knew how much I could love someone until I had Rachel. But hearing the truth after all these years hurt Rachel more than anything. I'm not happy with James for the whole way this came out. You're not happy with James? What about what he did at the Overlook? It might be hard for you to understand, but after 13 years of marriage, I'm not threatened by what happened. You're right. I don't understand. You don't have to worry about me or James. Rachel's the one who needs you right now. Do you think Sarah is dangerous? I've never met her, so I don't know. But I'm inclined to trust my husband. Mm. His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. <sighs> Thanks. Thank you, Chloe. Okay, hey, I'm on it. Let's look at this table. Nope, let's not get sidetracked. Let's go upstairs. We did enough dilly-dallying downstairs. We gotta go up them stairs now. It's stair time. Oh, snap. We're gonna see Rachel Amber's room. Okay. She has the glow-in-the-dark star stickers on her wall.
uh, Rachel? I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Um, we're gonna turn this bad boy on. First. This light needs more light. No, no, leave it on. You just gotta turn the light off. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that night light. It looks pretty cool. I think Rachel could use another subject. But which one? That's the one. Extra credits. What's this? <laughs> At least she'll have something from tonight. I'm just like by curiously just walking around touching random things. Just going in her <laughs> drawer. I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. See what's in the emergency kit. Water for safe flashlight and a radio, I think. Oh, more light. Perfect. Let me just put this in my back pocket. for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Maybe I can make the world a less scary place. Hey, this Back on the train, I said... Let me know if you need an accomplice. I said that. Probably. Whoa, I just teleported. Hey, check it out. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Wait, how's it spinning? Why? It reminds us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all <laughs> lies. Still beautiful. Stars suck. Yeah, stars suck. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? It's all lies. 
everything. My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman? My real mom? She's, She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I'm honored. Maybe? I don't know what the dot 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 entails, but I guess I'll, I'll do it. that one. Even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. You should take it back. No. There's nowhere else I'd rather keep it than right here. Wow. A peaceful time under the stars that are somehow spinning on a flashlight. Okay, I think it's time to get up. The fact that she's here right now that she came here for me I think I need to see her is that, is that wrong? wrong? I don't know it's not wrong per se but I don't know so I don't Honestly, know I have no idea what's right or wrong in this situation. I just know that whatever you decide, I'm in. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. I've got this. I've got an idea. Sure. I think I know what to do. Oh yeah, I'll because of Frank. Call Frank and get him to connect us to her. You do that? I'll give it a shot. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. We got one of the. <laughs> Can you handle that? Don't worry. I've got that one covered too. You do? Yeah. yeah remember? In fact, anything you could come up with, I'll handle it. I don't know about all that. I know you will. But even if we find her, how will I talk to her? What do I say? Say hello. You'll know. It doesn't matter. You'll know. After my dad died, I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak? Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> in my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. 
Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. Yeah. Very beautiful, heartfelt conversation. What's going on? Is this a dream sequence? What's going on here? They're on the sea, on the set of the Tempest. They're on the Tempest set. Dad, I think we're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? <laughs> Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. Your memories? Or my memories? Don't you mean my memories? I don't think you remember after you're dead. Touche. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? No good. What's wrong? Everything's broke. Don't you see anything? Here it is. Fine. It's the spark plug. The spark no, plug? That's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. R Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. World stage sounds inferior. I, I, I guess something about the whole world being a stage. So might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax. Sweetie, it's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights, sound effects. Chloe, look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay.
Excuse me? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who just booed? Oh my god. Dude, out of all the dream sequences, that had to be one of the most disturbing ones. That sound in the background. And the ending, oh my goodness. Okay, I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. I can do this. I can do this. Price. Oh, Frank. Eager much? Where's the money? I have a question to ask you first. I mean, a favor. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman who was in your RV yesterday. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I'm trying to help a friend. It would mean a whole lot to her. The girl with you at the mill? <sighs> yeah. I'll be in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real... <sighs> that Ooh. went well. I guess. Uh, I think he thinks I have the money. What am I getting myself into? I don't have no money. I have negative money. Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. Dude, did I climb a whole story? I did. Okay, let's look at the phone. Thank you for being there for me last night. I'm feeling a lot better. Guess what? Hmm. We kick. Okay, that. Also, we're meeting Frank at the junkyard in two hours. I think he could get us in touch with Sarah. Yep, I'm still at my house. Just showering, then grabbing tools for the truck. So, meet you at the junkyard? I'll be there. You're amazing, Chloe Price. What can I say? What can I say? Oh, my plant is dying. No. Uh, better than nothing. No, I think nothing would have been better. Didn't I graffiti this though? I am confused now, but okay. Is mom playing music? Huh. Is that David's towel? Ew. Where the hell is mine? They threw it in the garbage. Okay. My towel's one. probably in here somewhere. No awesome pirate towel. I should just calmly look for it. <sighs> Score. Whoa. Can't believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. So wash Max away was color. going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. Ready for the best shower of my life. Hot water. Gross. Don't let me down. Manly grip pomade.
This is uh what you see before you log into GTA. <laughs> no, after. Uh, yeah, I messed it up already. It doesn't. <laughs> Every time I log into GTA, my character is just taking a shower. Cover. That's the cover lady right there. Uh, it took two of the first two episodes, but now at the beginning of episode three, we see the blue streak. I need new clothes. New clothes? Did you just go into your mom's room for new clothes? Oh, is that her dad? What do I feel like wearing on this crazy ass day? Um, we got some bonus outfits. I feel like we have to wear the cone of fire. Most definitely. Just because. I, I feel like we have to wear it. Alright. One last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. That's not just the beanie from... Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. It's the beanie from uh, the truck, the the, <laughs> the free truck beanie. So I'm assuming that they're downstairs, aren't Here they? Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid mom or David? No, say hi to your mom. I support that much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. Huh. Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Oh. He turned off the, the stove because he didn't want the eggs to burn. Hey, who's there? Hey. Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did, but this is, uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. It's a smart decision. Oh, man. I'm not staying long. Doesn't seem like home. Uh, I guess I could say I'm not staying long. I'm... I'm not staying long. Just... <laughs> picking up some stuff. Oh. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. 
Oh, how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Is he gonna say sorry? Mom. Chloe. I, uh... I don't have time for this. Now, hold on a minute. Please. I... owe you an apology. Let's hear it. <sighs> Chloe, I should not have asked you to empty your pockets yesterday. I was, uh, out of line, and I'm sorry. That's it. <laughs> That's it. I mean, yeah, okay. I guess the re reset button Apology was already accepted. pushed. Really? Yeah. Good job. And good job, Mom, for twisting his arm or whatever. <laughs> Chloe. What? It's great. He listens to you. Can we be done now? Wait, one second. Don't go, Chloe. I've been meaning to show you something. Maybe, maybe now's a good time. This is my friend, Phil Becker. He okay. served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? A chance? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Keep the photo? Think about what I've said. Why, why would you want me to keep the photo? That's yours. Oh no, I feel bad if I reject it, and I, I feel weird if I accept it. This is, um, this is the hardest choice so far in this game. Fine, fine, just give me the picture. <laughs> just give me the picture, thanks, man. Thank you so Dude, much. He looks so young. And this Phil guy. They look close. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. What the hell? Just 
gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. Okay. We're gonna just take that. So how do we get to the junkyard? I guess we just walk. Okay. So this episode, or this part, um, is running a bit long. So I'm gonna have to stop it right here. Yeah, I mean, we haven't really seen much. We just came back home, basically. Oh, no, no. We saw a bit. There was a bit. I feel like, I feel like the good part's just starting. I think <laughs> definitely, um, this scene is gonna be very interesting. But, uh, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, um, leave a like. Also, if you're interested in seeing more, um, you can also subscribe. There will be end cards right here. This one is the playlist of uh, Life is Strange Before the Storm Remastered. And this one's the last episode of what I just said. Anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. If you watched this far, thank you very much. You get a special thank you. Um, here. I don't know if it goes that, but yep, that's your special thank you. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when I see you guys.